Hi, Sanam. Once again, welcome on your PDR. Thank you, sir. Okay, Sanam. So, uh, this our interaction today is related to a very, very relevant uh, topic. And let me tell you, like I am visiting different parts of India, different colleges, Sanam. And one yes, thing sir. which I observed is, like uh, colleges may say core branches. Uh, you know, students are losing interest. And many of the students who are already in core branches also, like I'm talking about civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, electronics, right. engineering, they are looking for opportunities abroad in computer science. So uh, let me tell you very simply what I mean. That means if a student is of mechanical engineering or electronics engineering background yes, uh, in yes. graduation and he wants to join computer science, master's in computer science, uh, abroad, then what are the opportunities? That is what we will explore in today's interaction. Right? Right. So uh, since you are from computer science background and you are sitting presently in Norway, pursuing your higher education from there only. So Sanam, okay. uh, I, I want you to tell us precisely what are the steps and how we, a student from other branches can go into these kind of courses. Okay, sir. So I will quickly and briefly tell you about the five steps, which uh, which at least can increase a, a student's chance. I am not sure that whether this these are the full five steps, but at least these can increase your uh, intake chances. So I'll start with first uh, step that is building a resume and profile. So building a good profile and resume is very, very important. Actually, I assume most of the non-computer science people would already have a good hands-on with one programming language, right? Yeah. And uh, have worked in some industry and have gained some experience as well. So if you fall in this category, it is okay. You are already ha you're having a good profile. But if not, then start building profiles sooner by participating in hackathons, GitHub profile, LinkedIn skills, and other small certifications. So in India, particularly, there is very uh, nominal fees for uh, one kind of certification, which is hosted by NPTEL, NOC, mm -hmm. which is very, very, you know, uh, informative as well as uh, competitive among in in international standards. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest for going for those particular coursework and certifications for mm -hmm. programming language, uh, those uh, students need to fulfill C, C++ and Java that are the most important languages. So profile building is very important as to CV, resume, application text, all these things matters a lot if you are not from computer science background. Okay. So this is the first, first step. Mm -hmm. Now moving towards the second step is uh, find programs that accept such students. So mm -hmm. we particularly if we talk about ourselves at Yopedia, we, mm -hmm. we guide students in such a manner that uh, finding the right position and place where a uh, student could apply is uh, becomes important, right? So mm -hmm. we guide students with that, particularly in our uh, organization, right? Mm -hmm. So you cannot apply to a position where uh, you credit, your credit requirement is not getting fulfilled. So mm -hmm. for example, a student, we take an example of a student who has done a B.Tech in mechanical engineering from India, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you are applying for a master's program where you are not eligible because of your credit credit requirements. Mm -hmm. So those requirements are not getting fulfilled, right? So th these are the conditions that needs to be checked. You cannot apply blindly if you are not a computer science student to a computer science uh, master's program because that money will get wasted. So mm -hmm. th there are subjects like algorithms, data structure, computer organization, theory of computation, com communication networks, and other subjects is, uh, subjects which are being, uh, which are not being taught in mechanical background, right? So that's why students don't become eligible because they cannot fulfill credit requirements. So in order to do smart counseling, because this kind of procedure require smart counseling, which we do at Yopedia as well. So mm -hmm. you can apply to those positions where you are eligible and uh, become competitive to uh, as competitive as other student. Mm -hmm. So this was the second step. Okay. And uh, third step can be uh, finding an interdisciplinary course. Which uh, which is highly you know advised because a specific list of uh, programs and courses which uh, which we have prepared uh, uh, which we have prepared at our uh, team as well mentors team as well and uh, the, this list contains all such uh, programs and specializations at foreign universities that uh, take uh, such admits for such students. So the programs like cyber physical systems, data science, artificial intelligence, sensors and IoT are the most demanding courses where uh, mm -hmm. non-computer science students can also get uh, intake. Mm -hmm. So this was the third step. 
then uh, coming to fourth step uh, prerequisites such as credit fulfillment if you are entering to a core masters uh, computer science program then it becomes very crucial because uh, uh, if you don't have credit fulfillment or sufficient credits for a particular course then you cannot uh, Uh, take participate in that program. So there are certain universities where they actually run uh, credit fulfillment programs, mm -hmm. which uh, which is called uh, called as preparatory courses, right? Okay. So if you are participating in one twenty credit uh, uh, masters programs, then they will mm -hmm. ask you to undergo a sixty credit uh, program along with that, which mm -hmm. makes you eligible for uh, that particular course. So mm -hmm. if we talk about uh, particularly examples by naming some universities. Then okay. NYU, UCB, Oregon State University in the US, and then Helsinki University, Technical University of Munich, then mm -hmm. University of Oslo in Europe are quite famous for such intakes. Mm -hmm. So, moreover, universities in Europe are famous for interdisciplinary approach to masters, which makes uh, students eligible for masters in computer science. Mm -hmm. And uh, in case the students don't want to spend money and time uh, for interdisciplinary, I mean, uh, money and time for uh, preparatory courses, they can take participate in interdisciplinary programs, which mm -hmm. are as good as uh, pa taking participate in uh, computer science, core computer science programs. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, these programs. So let's say a mechanical student want to participate in such program, right? Mm -hmm. So mechanical plus robotics becomes mechatronic. So the students should go for mechatronics branch, right? In that case, because they would be able to study computer science subjects there. So electrical signals, uh, I mean, electrical engineering students can go to compute, uh, computer science and signal processing subjects. And uh, believe me, sir, uh, machine learning, where uh, machine learning is very, uh, you know, highly uh, encouraged for such uh, students because uh, signal processing is all about machine learning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, machine learning is all about signal processing, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. These are uh, some of the steps and concluding uh, to the fifth step. So there are evergreen programs, which 90% of the uh, Indian BTEC students have eligibility, such as data science, mechatronics, artificial intelligence, cyber physical system, geoinformatics, and uh, atmospheric sciences. So mm -hmm. students can search for these programs and uh, can take help uh, of the team at Yopedia as well for search and takes. Mm -hmm. So these all were the, the uh, step. five steps. Yes, sir. Very good. So now, uh, Sanyam, let me first thank you. Aapne detail mein, you have mentioned all the five steps. Can you summarize okay. all these five steps very precisely? I mean, at the end of the discussion, this uh, session. Okay. Here. Hmm. Yes, sir. So first step that I told, told is uh, building a resume and profile. So right. this becomes very important. Important because SOP, CV, and uh, other uh, preparatory documents are very important if you are not from computer science background. And your resume so will... should reflect such that you are interested in these courses. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you if you can reflect it with the help of your prior experience or projects mm -hmm. or hackathons mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. there are many things, mm -hmm. then you have to find a, a specific program, uh, a list of such programs where you are eligible. You cannot apply blindly because if you are applying to a program and you are not eligible, you are wasting money and time yes. both. Yes. So smart counseling is required in such cases. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, interdisciplinary courses can also be an option if you are interested in studying uh, computer science subjects, but uh, uh, not computer science. I mean, you you will not get masters in computer science degree, but you will get a masters in uh, let's say cyber physical systems, sensors and IoT or five G mm -hmm. technology. So th this can be an option. Then uh, prerequisites to fulfill prerequisites, there are certain courses which are hosted by the university itself, which you can take participate, but you have to uh, strength your, strengthen your uh, master's program because two years master's program plus 60 credit of your extra workload, which you make, which will make you uh, eligible for that particular two year program. So that can be an option. And uh, uh, concluding that fifth step is like evergreen programs like data science, AI, mm -hmm. and uh, mathematical optimization, industrial engineering. All these are uh, very highly demanding uh, courses where uh, non computer science students can apply. Okay. So, Wonderful yeah. uh, that, Sanam. And uh, I remember last week I interacted with one student who got into National University of Singapore also. Yes. He was from electronics background and he got under MS under um, computer science department. So right. uh, I hope we get uh, more such examples in future and we keep sharing with the students here. Yes, sir. So and I must thank you for this elaborate, uh, uh, you know, uh, analysis of this <laughs> entire thing. 
and that yes. will be very very useful to students and them may I request yes. you again that we uh, you know uh, come out with a particular document related to yes. this yes. all the five steps elaborate with the way you have written we come out with the document and we share yes, with sir. the students right yes sir. sir yes sir thank you thank you sanam thank you. catch you next week